Yeah! It's your favorite Straw Hat Nico. Talking about Love is Hard from Otaku. This anime is right up my alley. Easily 10 out of 8. I watched the first episode and I love it. Let me to explain. So our main character in the room has got a new job. She transferred because of what happened to her old job. Her boyfriend found out she was an otaku, broke up with her, and I got a new girl. And she's talking about her problem is she always dates the jerks. And she can never make the right choice. But when she does those yaoi dating simulators, she always knows exactly what to do. So she's saying for once can she make the right choice. So it turns out at her new job, one of her co-workers is her childhood friend from elementary and middle school. So every time after work, they go drink all the problems away and just let everything out. When early on, the main reason why Narumi had this whole trance in the first place, she wanted a new change of pace. She's talking about she's an otaku and she can't really date no one because if you're an otaku, it's hard. You gotta keep things hush hush. If you do, let people know you're an otaku, they'll treat you differently. It's not gonna be a good time at all. So we learned early on that one of her co-workers that she saw, she was sitting here like, yo, she got nice right and she's cute. Turns out she's a cosplayer that knows about Nermi's past. And she's like, yo, how'd you know that name? I threw it away. Good, she's bleeding. I was dying, bruh. It's my kind of comedy. I love the way everything played out. The whole episode was just showing us how things work. It felt like watching Office, the anime, or rom condition, and everyone there is a weirdo. That's way I can describe it. And I was loving every bit of it. You ever just watch something and you're just hitting the spot every last moment? That's me in this anime. I really like it. And the ending was the best ending I've ever seen to a first episode. So the Fuji said, listen, you talking about you always make the wrong choice. But if you date me, I'll wait for you after work. I will carry you in any video game you want. And I'll be your sales assistant. And then your makes a funny face like, deal. And it ended with, and the two otaku started dating. It was beautiful, bruh. That's how you do a first episode. There's a lot of comedy involved. It's my kind of humor, situational. Cause it's like, dumb stuff happens, but it doesn't bother me. And the way everything played out, it just really hit the spot. Cause I'm really picky with rom-com. When I see a good one, I gotta watch, bruh. Simple as that. The music was beautiful. It was the kind of show where I could just sit back and relax and not think too much and just enjoy the scenery. I wish I had more anime that can do that for me, but it's hard to find stuff like that. So here's what I'm saying. If you like what you see and you want more, I highly recommend you watch this show. If you wanna see a good rom-com, here it is. If you're not into rom-com and wanna see some chill slice of life anime, here you go. The comedy's there. Trust me, it's gonna be worth your time. So do your boy a favor, King Kong on the like button. Subscribe, join my Straw Hat fleet. Share your favorite social media, so expand my fleet one step at a time. Subscribe, join my Straw Hat fleet, put notification bell on so you never miss a video, and you're good to go. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, join my Discord, and boom, you're all set. Thank you so much for watching. I can say so much more, but my crew needs me.